Hi everybody. Well, I've got a new permission. And as you can see, the countryside here is incredible. It's a very grey day, but it's a beautiful place. Um, brand new, I've never been on here before. So uh, yeah, let's get on with the show and see what we can find. Hopefully some good stuff. See you at the first hole, first target. All right, sorry guys, just getting adjusted. There's a signal here somewhere. <laughs> first target for today on this brand new permission is an 82. Sounds a bit too big to be a coin. And I suspect that's a bit deeper as well. Oh, right. Ooh. That sounds a bit weird now. Don't see anything. Or do I? Oh, these gloves. New gloves, I like them, but I do see something. Oh, we're gonna. Oh no, shotgun cartridge. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's play the coin or button game, but no need. Shotgun cartridge. Let's see you at the next. Moving on. Target number two. 76. 74. Hmm. What can that be? Well, that sounds a bit... Let's have a look, Let's see where we are. This is a pin pointer. As one of my friends asked me to do, to, to point out what this some of this equipment is, that thing's a pin pointer. It just shows me where these metal targets are. I'll do a beginner's video at some point soon. Target number two, Moo Tube. Target number three. <laughs> no, it's got to be trash, I guess, but um, you never know with a 92. Had some really good luck with that number. That's something right on the surface, but this is plowed land. So the fact that it's on the surface doesn't mean that much they don't unless that's yeah piece of aluminium rubbish I think that is if that's it no is that it uh, I think it probably is that Yes, it is. That not sure that's aluminium. Whether it's a piece of thin lead. Not sure. No, it's not lead, it's not aluminium, I don't think. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Piece of rubbish. Moving on. Number four. Sixty-seven. 68, a little bit of a weird tone to it, don't think it can be deep, and it's not. Okay, well the first few holes haven't been much good, let's see what we have here. signal everywhere so this is the problem with these some of these pinpointers you need to balance them against the ground oh it's that little itty bitty bit of Something. 
Number four is a bit of something. <laughs> I think it's lead. Okay, see you at the next. I think it's dead, Jim. It's cool. Sheep skull. Got most of its teeth there, so it wasn't so old. What often happens with sheep is all their teeth fall out and then they can't eat anymore. Sad but curious fact. Moving on. Number five. 65, 66. I'm really not holding out much hope. The way the first holes have gone. Sorry guys, oh. it's in here somewhere. Mm. 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 Oh. Oh. I don't know. I don't know, but nothing uh, really cool. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it is what it is. Moving on. Number six. Not deep. 82. see something. The question is what? Uh. Oh. <laughs> Coin or button? Okay, sorry guys. Messing you around. Oh, look at that. That's uh, that's a sixpence. Another sixpence. Oh, look at that, George. George, sixpence, wow. Okay. You know, this hunt has not started very well at all. But when you get on something like that, That's an interesting design, um, different to the to the others that I found. Don't know where the date is on it. We'll clean that up later anyway, we'll get some water on it. I don't want to rub it too much. Anyway, woohoo! Hole number six is finally something good. Moving on. Number seven. I don't know that. Double tappy, it's not deep, whatever it is. 70, 70s, 74, so. Or something like that. No, that's a bug. Yeah, it's wire. Okay. Number seven is just a piece of wire. Moving on. Number eight, I think. Although I'm not sure. 
Double tap is 75, whatever it is, is sat right on the surface. Uh, yeah, I thought it might be just aluminium trash, I think. Yeah, just a piece of aluminium. Okay. Moving on. Number nine. Very high squeaking. 86. I mean, crazy high squeaking. Mm, sounds a bit weird now. Oh, there it is. Half of a bull ring. Yeah, that's what it is. That's a cool find, actually. I like those. Yeah. Half of a bull ring goes through the nose. Yeah. Very good. So. Uh, where are we? Number nine. Half a bull ring. See you at the last target. Final target. 82. 81. Trash or treasure. Place your bets. What do we have? Oh. We have a big lump of metal. Uh, oh, it's lead. I think. Now that's interesting. That's um. Yeah, it is. That's uh, a length of lead that you would carry that around with you, and then cut pieces off as and when you wanted to melt it down for musket balls or whatever you wanted to use it for. That is actually a very cool find. I'm very happy with that. Um, yeah, interesting 10 hole hunt. Um, yeah, I know it's not been amazing, but I did find a silver coin and in any 10 hole hunt, live digger silver coin is amazing. But that's quite an interesting end. Anyway, Thanks for watching. See you at the wrap up. I mean, yeah, yeah, there will be with this one, I think. Bye. So, a short wrap up with this 10 hole hunt. Um, not my best, um, but certainly not my worst one so far. Uh, it's a brand new permission. And, you know, as a first start, when you're uh, going out, the first few holes can be. Um, sometimes incredible and sometimes frustrating and this was one that started off quite frustrating um lots of rubbish and uh, i was you know thinking oh no um but then i started hitting some interesting stuff now the three most interesting finds for this one is the bull ring i do like finding these it took me ages to find my first one and then all of a sudden i started finding them all the time there's this, which for me is a great find. Um, it's lead. And they would have taken chunks of this, or in this case, lengths of this with them, carried it with them, and then melted it down as and when they needed it. For me, that's an amazing find. It shows that there's a lot of history on that piece of ground. And I'm sure there will be some very interesting finds but the best find of today in this 10 hole hunt is of course this little silver George the fifth sixpence done well with sixpences this time um, but I just can't quite make out the date which should be oh is that a nine I can see on that side it is I think a nine just there but on the other side oh, is that a 21 definitely a two 1920 something okay um yeah very cool uh, i suspect that's 
And I can't remember the date they changed it. It could be 90% silver, but I'm not sure. It's at least 50% silver. Um, but yes, um, always great to find silver no matter what. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Uh, thank you very much for watching to the end of my video. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Moving on.